okay. So you can see that they're both the same distance where the elastic band has been placed centrally. So the top half is the same size as the bottom half. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down slightly. So I'll just move those side pins and take those two black pins down as well, approximately half a centimetre. And then I'll bring my elastic band down to those pin levels. So as you can see now, the bottom half is smaller than the top half. So you want a top heavy top half and a small bottom half. You can see the difference between the two. That's where her eyes are going and then her nose there. I think this can cause a bit of an issue for some people where they say, oh my nose looks too high up. Um, it's because that the eye line is too high to start with. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a small piece of string. Oh, where's she gone? And we're just going to loosely tie it around her neck. It hasn't got to be tight, just to keep the tubing grip in place really. So just a nice uh, loose um, piece of string around her neck edge. And then just pull the tubing grip down through that string edge just to tighten the chin basically. So what we're going to do next is the string sculpting. This is how you're going to actually get the shape um, on, of the face of the dolly. So take your linen thread, um, two pieces around about 100 centimeters long, hold it at the back of the doll's head, I sort of link it, link it through with my fingers, and then wrap it around tightly three times under the elastic band around your doll's face. So pull it nice and tight as you go. And then at the back, just tie it once, nice and tight, but don't knot it off. Because we're going to come back to this later and retighten if we need to. So just move the elastic band up a little bit, place a pin in, and just do your wrapping around, your figure of eight, wrapping around the pin um, to keep it secure. Okay, so remove the elastic band. And this time, taking your second piece of string cut to 100 centimetres, we're going to wrap the vertical line. I normally just link it around my fingers at the back, so I've got something to hold on tight to um, as I work. So bring it round to the side of the face, just skimming past those pins and bringing it up to the top. Take it down again, bring it up to the top. I haven't actually pulled on it yet, I should do that in a minute. Just check that your lines, your string lines are actually um, close or just past to the uh, side lines that you've put on. Check that it's actually hooked up under the chin. So it's close to that small piece of string that you put on and it's going up nicely along the sides. It's also sweeping off to an angle. It's going more towards the back of her head and it's past the uh, sewing stitches that you did at the top. Knot it once. And then holding on to it, give it a nice Pull to tighten. Now I find this a bit difficult working from this position because normally I've got a uh, attached to close to my tummy as I pull on her so for me to sort of hold it in this angle is a little bit odd but uh, yeah give her a pull 
um, as tight as you can and that would just ping that chin up slightly. Same process as before, as before, stick a pin in and just uh, tie your tooth uh, ends around the pin to stop it from releasing. Just check the shape of her, make sure that she's got a nice pronounced chin. So check the angle, um, make sure that it's going um, off towards sloping towards the back and then at the front you need to make sure that you have got a smaller bottom half than you have to your top half okay the bottom half is considerably smaller than the forehead section okay so with the two strings attached we're now just going to give her a quick check over make sure that she's looking nice and consistent um, and a realistic face shape now we are going to take some measurements so the first measurement we'll do is the circumference of the head along the eye line now this should measure approximately and well, i can get my tape measure to stay on approximately 32 centimeters so there you go there you can see 32 centimeters that's for the circumference of the head on the eye line the next measurement we are going to take is from the eye line down to under the chin and this needs to be approximately eight centimeters could be seven and a half nine would be okay anything over nine is uh, too uh, big at the bottom and then the next measurement over the top of the head from side to side um, is 21 centimeters and the final measurement we're going to take is from where the two strings cross and meet we're going to take that measurement there and we want that to be around about 14 centimeters now you can see mine's just slightly out probably got about 14 and a quarter there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to move my string over just really slightly and i'll do that on both sides now i'll have a re-measure see what she measures And there you go, 14 centimetres. So that's the size that you want along the eye line at the front. So those are the measurements we did. So next, we're going to anchor those two uh, string lines together. So the horizontal and the vertical string line needs to be anchored together. I'll remove those two pins, I don't need those now. And I've taken approximately 50 centimetres of the string to use and just do some small stitches um, in between the cross stitches just to anchor them in place. Just go backwards and forwards. So dig in nice and deep into the head. Then take the needle out from the string and cut yourself another piece of string 50 centimeters long and repeat for the other side. Remove those pins and apply a couple of little cross stitches just to anchor those two strings together and in place.
lovely so you've now secured the side bits both sides with some little cross stitches to anchor those two strings in place so they're not going to go anywhere with the sides anchored we now want to make sure that we're going to secure the top of the head so we're going to anchor um, that string line in as well so take where you've just done one um, we haven't actually done a knot you've just tied it together so open that up and give it a little pull just so that you can sort of pull up on the tension of it and then tie that off into a knot So after you've done a nice tight knot, you can uh, attach a needle and then just do a couple of stitches just to secure that string in place. Do it on both of the tails. A couple of stitches is all that you need. And then just sink the tail back into the head and snip off and repeat for the other. Um, piece of string. Okay, so that's the top nicely secured and now we are going to do the string line at the back of the head and we're going to pull it downwards. Now you can either use your nails to pull it down, that's absolutely fine, or like me I prefer to use a crochet hook, saves on the nails, and then just grab hold of that string line and pull it all the way down to the nape of the neck. need to have a little gap there between that small string line that you put on um, so there's just a little bit of a, a neck edge there and then you're going to secure those tails exactly the same way that you did on the top so a couple of stitches for each one and then just sink the tails into the head So give her a little look over, make sure that she's looking as she should be. So she's got a nice prominent chin with a sunken eye line and a nice smooth head at the back. So the next thing we're going to do is reattach the string lines, Re reattach them back to your needle. Place some small stitches in between the two lines. Looks a bit like a train track line as you're going down. So just put the needle in through the chin one, picking up some tuby grip, and then in through the one beyond. Pick a little bit up, pick up a little bit from beyond. Excuse my hand, coming up to the camera. 
and just work your way down that side space. So you're going to continue down that side until you get to about a centimetre from where that neck string is that you've placed on and then just do a couple of little stitches just to secure that and then you're going to work along that um, lower neck edge string just to keep that in place as well. And then when you get to the centre back, just do a couple of stitches just to secure that tail in place and sink it into the head. And then you're going to repeat for the other side. Both sides are now sewn nicely in place along the bottom nape edge of the neck. So the next thing we're going to do is to close that gap that runs along the uh, side edge of the head. To do this we're just going to take some general sewing thread And as you work along closing that gap, just pick up a little piece of the tubey grip from either side of the string, pull tight and that will close that ridge, close that gap for you. You're going to work all the way around, side, top and the other side. Just do a couple of more stitches there just to secure that and leave the thread on. So as you can see now you've got a nice closed ridge all the way around, made the head a lot more smoother. Okay so now with that uh, top ridge closed, we're just going to close the small section of the eye ridge. So take your tape measure. What you need to do is you need to find the halfway mark. So in our case it should be 7 because our eye ridge eye line measured 14. So I'm going to put a pin in at 7 centimetres.
and then I'm going to measure from that centre pin out to 2.5 centimetres. Both sides measure outwards 2.5 centimetres. And put a couple of pins in uh, at those points. And that's basically showing you where the eyes are going to be positioned. Then take your sewing thread, which is still attached, and this time we're going to close the gap along the eye ridge. So using the same stitch as what we did before to close the head ridge, we're just picking up a little bit of the tuber grip either side of the string and just working our way all the way along just to close that eye ridge. And just keep working along until you get to about probably about half a centimetre before you get to that pin and then you can fasten off. and repeat for the other side. Lovely, okay, so now we've closed the head ridge all the way along and we've closed just the outer section of the eye ridge. Okay, so finally for this we're just going to finish the neck off. So take another piece of string, enough to go twice around her head, her neck I should say, and just cut off the um, small piece that you put on earlier. Tie this new piece of string around her neck twice and tie off in a knot at the back. Then just pull the tube grip downwards just to get rid of any sort of gathers that might have might be there, just so that it's much more smoother, nice and smooth. And then we're going to close that bottom area. Now it can be done exactly the same way that we did to close the top of the head. So just by pulling a flap over and then overlapping with the back. Or you can do a running sewing thread all the way through and just pull it. It's entirely up to you. I prefer to do it this way. Um, just making you know a little fold over and then sewing in place.
same as before just take those little triangle corners fold them over and put a couple of pins in and sew down flat as before looking good so you can really do that bottom bit you know any way that you like and then finally we're just going to take that next string um, and just sink the tails well get a couple of stitches and sink the tails of that and I'm using my darning needle because I haven't got much of a string length there so again it's just to secure that in place so that it's not going to move So there you have your finished head. So now on to her little nose. So what you're going to use is a piece of discarded wadding that you used when you did the head ball. You only need a small piece. So just cut a little strip. It's probably about, I don't know, three centimetres wide. So yeah, not very big, just a, a small little strip. I'm just going to put this down so that you can see what I'm doing better. Then take a needle, I use a darning needle, but a nice big fat needle um, that you can use and just turn the wadding over at the top and put your needle in. It's about a well, centimetre positioning in the middle and then just start rolling the wadding down over the needle and as you roll you need to keep pulling up roll and pull up that helps to keep the tension really tight on it and just keep rolling down making sure you are pulling up as much as you can just to make it tight needs to be about the thickness of a chopstick if you've had a Chinese before you know what the size of a chopstick looks like but yeah basically I don't know thickness of a chopstick um, is good then take your needle and thread 
and you're going to sew along about a centimetre um, a centimetre's worth of stitching just to keep that wadding in place so backwards and forwards for about the length of a centimetre Just go backwards and forwards a few times on it, just so, so that you know that you, you know you've got a good lot of stitches running through that wadding. Okay, then fasten off, make it nice and tight. Cut the thread away. Remove your needle from the middle. So you should have a nice, compacted, tight little tube. Cut the excess wadding off. And then you're going to cut this little tube into a one centimetre piece. So make sure that you don't cut through your stitch lines that you've done otherwise you're loosening the stitches so either side of where your stitches are just snip away until it's about one centimetre wide so a nice little chunky rectangle shape nose well if you want to call it a nose <laughs> piece, of, piece of rolled wadding Now you can sew your nose on, or in my case I like to glue my nose on. But first I need to measure the position of where the nose is going to be. So taking a tape measure and measuring from that centre pin, I'm coming down and I'm placing my pin two centimetres down from that central pin line. Now that pin line at two centimetres is the bottom of the nose. So your nose is going above that pin line, that pin mark. So two centimetres down from the centre and the nose is going above the pin mark. Now I like to put a little pin, because I'm gluing it on, I like to put a little pin either side of the nose. So that when I take the nose away to put the glue on, I know where my glue positioning needs to be. <coughs> so it's all lined up nicely. I know where my glue's going. It's going to go in between those two pins. So I take my nose out. Get my glue gun and just place some hot glue in between those two pointy up pins and then take my nose making sure that I've got my stitches downwards facing flat down and pop my nose on and press in place now if you're gonna sew your nose on that's absolutely fine if you haven't got a glue gun that's not a problem um, you just sew it, you know, as best as you can, so that it's nice and firm, firmly stuck on, firm in position. Take your pins out. Now 
And now it's a real sharp rectangle, that nose. Solid, sharp rectangle. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to use those lovely sharp scissors again. And we're just going to trim away the outside edges. To make it more of a curve, you want a nice streamlined curve um, on this outside nose edge. Um, it takes a bit of time, so just do small little snippy bits just to make that hard rectangle edge become more curved and cylinder so that it's not like when you put your, your doll jersey on top it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb that it's a, a rectangle blob um, under a skin so yeah just take your time um, to you know smooth that out on the outside edges just snip it away until you can feel that it's got a curve to it rather than a, an edge Yeah, okay, I think that's smoothed off enough. Just got to see, you know, keep checking at it. So what I like to do is I like to actually just put a piece of fabric over her. Now you could use a piece of the fabric um, before you actually cut out your, um, you know, body and arms and legs. So just take a piece of your fabric and just hold it over her face and that will give you an idea of what she's looking like. You'll be able to see the shape of the nose, making sure that it's not too, you know, hard. So yeah, worth um, investing in this step for sure. So yeah, so there we have it. This concludes the string sculpting section for her head.